Hey guys, Jacqueline Hernandez here at the Alert Center. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Monday to all of you. Um, today we are talking about a developing story out of Modale, Iowa, where a man is in jail facing first degree murder charges after a rollover crash with a stolen vehicle. So there are multiple uh, parts to this story, um, a lot happening, a lot going on with this one. And um, as I mentioned, this is a developing story, so make sure to stick with us as um, more of this story uh, comes to light. Um, getting started here, I want to take you to our webpage, that's WOWT.com. You can see that's the uh, top story on our webpage currently. When we click on that page, this will give you kind of the rundown, more information. But I just kind of wanted to start showing you exactly where this is. So I'm gonna click on the view larger map mode. And uh, let's see, Modale is really tiny. So I think it's right in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I'm just kind of zooming in. Um, if we take a look at, you know, location wise, where Modale is from um, Omaha, it's about a 30 minute drive. So you can see it's a, it's a straight shot in that location. Um, we're gonna take a look back at our website. If I scroll down here, here's a look at the 22-year-old uh, Sebastian O'Brien, the man who was arrested. And I'm gonna leave this shot up for you as we talk a little bit about the details. So according to the Iowa Department of Criminal Investigation, Harrison County Sheriff's deputies responded to a call of a vehicle rollover around 4.30 uh, last night, so just yesterday. O'Brien, the man on your screen, was driving the vehicle and was reportedly intoxicated and became combative with deputies when they made contact with him. He was then placed into custody shortly thereafter and allegedly made incriminating statements that he assaulted the vehicle's owner. So this ultimate led investigators to find out the vehicle involved in this crash, in fact, did not belong to O'Brien. So that's kind of a first clue for you that, uh, you know, something was kind of sketchy along these lines. So deputies eventually went to the registered owner's address in rural Missouri, Missouri Valley, and they found the owner deceased inside the residence. Um, the identity of this person is being is being withheld pending family notification at this time. But um, an arrest affidavit does say that the front door was forced open of this property, right? And they said blood was found inside the home and then smeared on the front door window. The victim reportedly had severe blunt force facial and head injuries. And um, when O'Brien was in the uh, hospital, he allegedly told officers he and the victim drove to the home from a DeSoto Bend, from DeSoto Bend to move furniture. He said the two were living together in a camper near DeSoto. Uh, he told officers while they were moving furniture, the two reportedly got physical. O'Brien allegedly said he punched and kicked the victim and struck him with dresser drawers. He also said the victim deserved to die, accusing him of sexual assault. Um, so right now, this is a mugshot of 22-year-old um, Sebastian O'Brien. He is lodged in the Harrison County Jail and faces a first degree murder charge. And according to the Sheriff's Office, additional charges are pending. So again, this is something that, um, it's a devel developing story, excuse me, at this point, and we are following this closely online and on our website at wowt.com. So again, and you can find the latest um, breaking news and news of the day here on our website. Here's our homepage. Again, we were just discussing this main story right here, the rollover crash response ends with this Iowa man arrested who is now accused of murder. So we are gonna switch gears now a little bit. Let's take a look. 